Hello and welcome to the Kinda Queer Podcast, a podcast hosted by a couple of Kinda Queer folks. My name is Ryan and I am a pansexual something or other. I'm going with he, they, and it feels good, so yeah. I am Devin. I loosely am queer and I use she, her pronouns, cisgender. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Great intro. Loved it. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for joining me, Devin. You are the first person I've talked to on a podcast for like over two months. So it's great. I'm honored. Yeah, as honored. you should be, because this is a <laughs> highly prestigious podcast. Only the best of the best get on. Yeah, I'm really intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> good you better be um <laughs> so uh i guess the first uh question i have is uh when did you start to think that you were queer when when did the the thought first pop into your brain <laughs> um i don't know if it was like i think it was just continuously over time mm -hmm. i was like i i always knew i wasn't straight i feel like <laughs> Like, I, like, I didn't know, and I still don't really, like, feel like I specifically use any sort of label. So I never really thought about it, though, because I never really had to. Yeah. But within, like, the past two years, I've, like, really been, like, very conscious of the fact that I'm not straight. <laughs> uh -huh. So, yeah. So I guess, like, within the past two years is, like, a good time, I, I'd say. Okay, I'm, bu I'm building the story. I'm figuring it out. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I definitely, I think that's, it's kind of, I kind of like, I mean, I don't know why I'm saying this is weird, but I kind <laughs> of, I kind of like the fact that you don't really use any labels because I, I think that it's good to know for other people that you don't have to have a label. Um, for sure you don't have to label yourself like i label myself and i did a long time ago as pansexual mostly because i was very like one of the main stressors that i was feeling was i didn't know what i was and that that hurt my brain my brain was like i don't know <laughs> what to do with yourself ryan you <laughs> stupid and so i found the label and i was like okay yeah all right this is good i like this makes me feel good my brain is at ease thank you brain thank you me and uh yeah but it's but the total opposite can happen where you feel more comfortable without a label or with a general label like queer and yeah. uh it's it's just a it's just a great life that we live where you can do that very beautiful I appreciate it. Yeah, and only be judged by, you know, homophobes and other people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so great. I love it when people are homophobic. <laughs> yeah, I I try to buy homophobes coffee sometimes. Uh -huh. But, you know, just to be kind. Yeah, of course. That's what you For have sure. to do. <laughs> um <laughs> i want to know was there like um was there a specific like a moment or memory or event that you can think of that you thought i guess maybe specifically like oh i am queer um i don't i really like the childhood references from people mm -hmm. but i don't remember my childhood <laughs> which is really sad uh -huh. but i guess i've always been a little too obsessed with the singer from the band Lunar Vacation. Okay. Their name is Grace Rapaski. I don't know how to say it. I'm guessing at that. Uh -huh. But like, I've just always been a little too obsessed with like specifically female musicians. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Oh, also like, I don't know. I don't know if this is like a shared experience with anyone. But like in like elementary years girls like play with like each other's hair that's a pretty common thing i feel like yeah and i was always like that those like those moments were my pure ease they were like the only moments where i was like this is life this is beautiful <laughs> this is bliss <laughs> but yeah i guess yeah yeah your heaven is sitting in elementary school having other 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 girls do your hair i get it 
Oh, I get that. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I similarly, I also felt that way because I just wanted people to like, I just wanted people to do my hair and make me look pretty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that That is my bliss. You need no modification. You need no modification. Uh, You're naturally thank glorious. You. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you very much. Of course. I, <laughs> <laughs> I see the weird, I, I don't know if it's just because of like trauma, but I feel like I'm always... <laughs> I feel like I'm always like maybe not surprised is the word but I'm just like I'm just interested whenever people like say that they don't remember their childhood because for me it's just like very like it's pretty vivid for me um really? yeah I mean it, not all of it um but like certain parts of it I can just go back to be like oh man that one time when I saw a man naked in the shower I went oh <laughs> That was your moment. <laughs> that was that was your peak. That was that was my peak. That was that was my peak in life. Seeing a man naked in the shower was wasn't even that attractive of a man. But you know that was it for me. That was he was a hiker. Yeah, he was that a was. Hiker. That was that was. If I had to rate events in my life from best to worst, that would be number one best for sure. One hundred percent. Plot twist: It was Paul Giamatti. <gasps> He just filmed Big Fat Liar. He's taking the shower. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know until now. Hey, you know, I'm glad you told me about this because now I know. So I guess you said that you don't have any childhood memories because you don't remember your childhood. I don't think it's like specifically trauma <laughs> is the reason I don't remember. I think it's just a lack of attentiveness. Yeah. So I just like can't. Yeah. I just have like a mental reset every uh -huh. five years. <laughs> yeah you're like a goldfish but instead of every five seconds it's every five years for sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no i think i think the reason why i remember so much from my childhood is because of trauma i think i just like things traumatized me or at least did back then then i was like oh this is a new core memory unlocked you know from <laughs> the, the hit movie inside out <laughs> for sure yeah, is that what it was called, Inside Out, right? Inside Out? The Isn't thing, that the, the one, Pixar that's movie? the one with the, that's the one where, like, her feelings are, like... Yeah, John cute, Mulaney like, is one of them, I think. No, he's not, but later is. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> get, get your facts straight. I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could piss people off. <laughs> Just, like, fully commit to John Mulaney being one of them. Yeah, yeah, he's the happy one. Yeah, yeah, that's John sure. Mulaney, yeah. 100%. Yeah. I'm, I know there are probably a bunch of John Mulaney stands listening to this right now, and they're just going wild. They're freaking out. Just all his little pack. He yeah. just got out of rehab. He doesn't deserve this. <laughs> hey, I just got out of rehab, too. I didn't. I'm lying. I don't know why oh. I said that. I want to go to rehab. I feel like that'd be fun. But I'm not addicted to anything, unfortunately. <laughs> not not that not that being addicted to things is like... If you struggle with addiction, get help. I support you. Yeah. But, like, I just really want to be a cocaine addict is all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I, I guess... Do you, did you have, like... You you brought up the the one uh, member of the band which I'd never heard of, so I'm gonna have to look that up after. Listen, listen to them; they're so good. Okay, I will. Yeah, I will. Jeez. <laughs> God. Okay. Fine. Oh right, I remembered. I thought about this at the time, and then I completely forgot about it when you said that. But now I'm remembering it, so the 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 beautiful listeners get to hear my story, my call. Um, I don't know why, but this just reminded me of it. So I, <laughs> cause you, oh, this is what remind, this is what brought it up, made it click in my head. You said like you had an obsession with her and I was like, oh, right. okay. Right. Naturally. Of course I, I have obsessions with the people as well. And this is what the, for right. me randomly, I don't know why this is very recent <laughs> actually, but do you remember, <laughs> Do you remember or do you know of the YouTuber Stampy Longhead? No, but I want to. Oh, God. 
Oh god, I feel so I, old. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry, but yeah, oh. no. No, he's a Minecraft YouTuber. Oh, swag. <laughs> one of <laughs> one of the OG Minecraft YouTubers that I watched back in the day consistently love the content then like one of his helpers i think was ended up being like a child like predator or pedophile or something oh. like that. but you know stampy he's still good he's still going strong despite that he's not Ooh. actually a bad person that i know of i mean I, he could be <laughs> maybe perhaps <laughs> um but he has uh a significant other named squishy quack <laughs> <laughs> wait i'd like to think they, these are their real names oh yeah no they in they, my head they are yeah they legally changed their names to stampy longhead and squishy quack for sure <laughs> um and so lately i've had an obsession with squishy quack i mean stampy too but for like, sure um and squishy is just this non-binary uh I don't, I don't, I want to say goddess, but I don't know, like, <laughs> I, I, um, I, like, is there a god or goddess term that is, you know, not fitting the binary? Savior, I suppose. Savior. This non-binary savior of my heart. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know, I just, I recently, like, found them again. I was like, oh. I'm minorly attracted. Oh well, I don't have an obsession. That would be weird. You go to your house, break up the relationship, propose. <laughs> you run off to Florida together because you know Florida yeah. is gross. But like, just to say, just to stay discreet, you like yeah live in a weird cottage. Mm -hmm. Well, it's even better because uh, I believe they are both they're they're some kind of British. <laughs> i don't know the specific <laughs> kind of british i don't know the specific breed I, but are there multiple breeds i feel like they're all british or not <laughs> right <laughs> I, I don't know there's like there's like northern english and like southern english and a bunch of stuff it's it's like how america we have we have like a the the northerners and we have the southerners they're both gross like at the end of the day yeah like <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. But that's that's an obsession I've had as of late. Um, Very cool. Don't know Very why. Very beautiful. But, yeah. Do you have any uh, current obsessions? You, like, whether it's with a living human being or just <laughs> literally anything else? Um, Definitely Phoebe Bridgers is ongoing. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think. What's a good one? Non-human obsessions would probably be, I've been wanting a pet snake recently. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, because I wanted to have babies and then, like, <laughs> be stuck in a house full of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Yeah, that'd be cool. But, yeah, Phoebe Bridgers is definitely God, mm -hmm. no doubt, in yeah. my mind. Yeah, Phoebe Bridgers, God, and then right under that, snake with many babies. Um, and then under that, sure. uh, I don't know, John Mulaney or something. <laughs> of course, yeah. of course. But no, snakes are so cool, though. They are. They're so terrifying, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine a snake in a tank. Imagine a snake in a tank uh -huh. at the bank. Oh, my God. The snake is the bank teller. <laughs> I thought you were going to say bank <laughs> robber. <laughs> Well, why not both? <laughs> That's true. Could be an inside job. You never know. For sure. 100%. It's Ocean's 26. <laughs> is all. Just a full <laughs> cast of snakes at this point. <laughs> They're getting the cast of snakes on a plane to play the other character. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. No, so I get that. So it's going to be great. I think it's probably going to be a blockbuster movie of the year. Bring blockbuster back. I'm yeah. just going to say that. I'm infuriated. Yeah, we need to we need to gather and rally all of the queers <laughs> to bring back Blockbuster. And like the cards, the cards are just like John Mulaney holding a rainbow flag upside yes. down because he didn't know what to do with it. Yes. 
and then and then we can we can just like turn blockbuster into this this great revitalized uh queer business oh when they start making good queer movies yeah that'd be so yeah i'm so thrilled yeah because there really aren't many good queer movies you're totally glitching so badly i don't know what's going on I'm glitching badly. Yeah, it's like an echo of a voice. Am I, I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> Devin, no. Don't die on me yet. Guys, I think Devin died. I think I'm going to have to plan a funeral for Devin. Um, so if anyone could show up, that would be great. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to get John Mulaney to uh, go to the funeral. Um, so he can, <laughs> he can read her eulogy. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I'll, I'll invite all of the queers. We'll hold a party to celebrate Devin's death. Cause we don't want, we don't want to celebrate. We don't want to make it a sad thing. We, we want, we want to make it a happy thing. So we're going to celebrate Devin's death with John Mulaney and all of the queers. And that's what's going to happen. So if you could make it, uh, I'm going to say, uh, Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That would be great. Can you hear me now? Or no? I can hear you, yeah. And you don't sound glitchy right now. Okay, you're good as well for me, which you weren't before. (laughs) Could you hear at all what I was saying? (laughs) No, it was just like waves of sound (laughs) that I could like vaguely make out. It was really good. I was, I was, I was planning your funeral. Um, because you were dying yeah yeah but now that you're back from the dead we're all good we're all set have you Devin? Mm. yes come out to other people complicated question yes so yes and no okay so i thought i was i thought i was by for a little bit so i did i guess like come out then but like i've basically just like Everyone kind of knows I'm not straight, and that's, like, (laughs) to the extent that I've come out. (laughs) Which I feel like, yeah, everyone kind of assumes it. So, not that you should assume, but, like, you're not wrong if you do assume. So. (laughs) Yeah, don't assume because that makes an ass out of you and me, but also you are correct. (laughs) For sure. So, you you did come out to some people as bi a while ago. How did that go? Um, it went well. No one really cared, which was nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, my I'm kind of friends with the same people, and I have the same family as my brother, and he's, you know, yes, he's a little something something. So <laughs> <laughs> it went well. Yeah, it was it was nice, and it felt relieving. I feel like yeah, it always. I, I feel like. Once, like, when you're trying to do it, it's very stressful. But then, yeah. once you actually do it, it, it just feels, like, it's very relieving. It just feels like a large weight has been taken off of your shoulders. And also, like, it's so hard to bring up organically. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. It is. But once you do, once you just, like, get everyone's eyes on you, as they should be, mm-hmm. it's fun. It's fun. It's a party, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everyone's eyes should be on you, um, especially right. when you're queer. For sure. If they're not, it's a little homophobic, but like yes. not outwardly, so you can't say anything. Yeah. But Yeah, no, for sure. I kept thinking to myself during Pride Month that I should be able to do crimes and that wouldn't be illegal because I'm, I'm, I'm queer and it's Pride Month. That's kind of homophobic, <laughs> but... I guess the law right. says otherwise. I don't know why. Well, the law the law is wrong. So yeah, for sure. Whatever. LOL. Major lol moment. <laughs> <laughs> See, sometimes I have thoughts, and then they just like immediately leave my brain. They just. I thought you said you had bots, like yes. B O T S. So yeah. that was interesting. Yeah, I have bots. But yeah, I have many bots. I'm Doctor Robotnik. <laughs> I, I I build a bunch of little <laughs> tiny robots that do everything in my house. They they shovel like yogurt into my mouth and all sorts of things like that. Yeah. They should make oat milk yogurt. I feel like <laughs> just so I don't know. Just my thoughts. <laughs> they probably do somewhere in the world. Yeah, but it's gross. 
yogurts for sure. They should make good oat milk yogurt. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. That's good. I th- oh god. Again. You good? I, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm just having a like sometimes my I think someone may have poisoned my water and it's slowly eroding my brain away. Um, it was me. It oh, was me. Sorry about oh, that. that. Yeah, that, no, I get it now. That's fine. That makes oh, sense. Oh, I got a good one for you. I got a good one for you. Okay. So this is like sort of like a choose your own adventure situation. Oh, good. So imagine you're in a cafe, if you will. Uh-huh. Very low lighting. It's yes. 6 p.m. Just mm-hmm. got off a long day of work. You walk in. Mm-hmm. You're getting an oat milk latte. Mm-hmm. You see a man at a table wearing a top hat and a full scuba suit. Uh-huh. So you naturally, you take the oat milk latte. Yeah. You don't leave a tip. You don't leave a tip. No. Because the person handing you the coffee had a goatee. Mm-hmm. So, but then as you're walking out, you're trying to like catch the eye of the top hat man. Yeah. But like subtly. <laughs> but then he slowly tips his top hat, flips it, and it lands on your head. What do you do? What's your next move? Oh, fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> this is like, this is going to create an existential crisis for me. Um, well, don't overthink it. Just naturally. Yeah. What do you do? So he, he flips the top hat perfectly onto my head. Um, right. I think immediately my first thought is just, I need to, I need to like break off like a table leg or something so I can use it as a cane so I can just like okay. even more posh. Right. Um, of course and then i think after i do that people will start to like feel my energy within this cafe and they'll just they'll just they'll like they'll look at me and they'll just feel immense power like emanating from me they all slowly bow down yes that's what i'm hoping would happen and once they start doing that i'll start demanding all sorts of things from my newfound uh followers like Give me all your money. This is a robbery. I have a gun when I don't actually have a gun. Things like that. You just have the cane. You just have the cane. Yeah, I just have the cane. But it could maybe the table leg was secretly a gun. And so now I have a table leg cane gun. You know, it's kind of it's almost like a little a little weird that you choose a gun. Like gun violence is a real problem. I don't know if that's like <laughs> something you did consciously. <laughs> Um, but it's like really irking me. I don't know if this scenario is the best one to choose or maybe your choices are just poor. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do about this, to be uh, honest. You know what? If I, I totally understand if after this you have to, uh, remove all connections from me. I totally understand that. Uh, no, I'll still vaguely refer to you as mommy in any situation possible, okay. but like, it's not the same anymore. Yeah. It's just not the same. You know what? That's that's fair. That's totally fair. This reminds me, literally last night, my friend and I were having just a very long, drawn-out conversation slash hypothetical where ev- at every turn, anything that happened, I would immediately figure out a way to make it like living hell for one of my other friends <laughs> just because it was funny i wouldn't actually do that to them um, why not why well, not i mean why I, not i would do some of the things because it'd be really funny like i made him 15 percent shorter permanently and <laughs> i also made him green like shrek oh and that i just think that dream. i just think that would be hilarious I think it'd be godlike almost, I'd say. You're do actually doing him a favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 helping him realize his true goblin potential. And also, another thing that I remembered that I was trying to think of before, which I couldn't because my brain is deteriorating from the poison you put in my water. Um, Sorry about that again. <clears throat> no, it's fine. I get it. Um All right. I <clears throat> when you said that like it's hard for like to for you to like bring up the fact that you're queer in naturally because that doesn't really come up like naturally in conversation i immediately thought of the this summer i've been working uh as an exterior painter <laughs> i know Ooh. really cool <laughs> uh, um so i've been painting houses 
Uh, and I just have to slip this in here. Fuck you, Barbara. Oh, That's... We hate Barbara. <laughs> we really do. We really hate Barbara. <laughs> and now that I'm no longer working for them, I can totally, definitely say that. Dox her right now. Okay, Barbara, Barbara lives at 420 uh, Epic Lane. <laughs> <laughs> In uh, in the good old town of Jesus Christ, Massachusetts. I'm going to go throw oat milk at her house <laughs> on a scooter as I slowly ride by. <laughs> yeah, so besides the Barbara thing, the it was kind of weird for me because like everyone that I worked with, with the exception of one person, um, all very great people. I love them all. They're all very fun to hang out with, to talk with and whatnot but like sometimes it was kind of glaring how blatantly straight they were like oh god the straight that just fucking oozed out of them was sometimes was just a little too much you said you like these people i don't i do because i know normally we don't like straight people and i get that because straight people are gross and they they heterophobe (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but <laughs> but like they're they're they are genuinely like nice people but like they would just yeah. sometimes like they would just talk about like uh ex-girlfriends that they had or like yeah. w- or like uh women that they were interested uh in and i was just like i was just it's like listening to it i was just like oh whew, oh my god <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm being crushed by all this straight right now. Ooh. It's like so emotionally draining. Yeah, it kind of was. And like I feel like there were several times where like they they would just like look at me and they'd be like, Right, Ryan, you know how it is. I'd be like, Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, that's I know that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just I, I would contemplate just screaming, Oh, by the way, I'm kind of queer. You should have worn a shirt mm-hmm. with your face on it and just, like, had the word... Well, no, you should have had kind of queer merch and just worn it. Yeah. Well, For actually, sure. I do have kind of queer merch. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> LOL. Like, <laughs> I'm a fake fan. It's fine. No, it's, yeah, I, I haven't talked about it because it's expensive and you don't need to buy it at all. It's You, you get it on by on my patreon but it's like one of the higher tiers so i get it you don't have to do that no one has to do that but it's there no they all everyone who's currently listening has to do it (laughs) yeah just like it's like a guilt trip now almost like i feel bad i feel genuinely bad (laughs) no you do not have to feel bad we have to make the the listeners feel bad for not not uh subscribing to my patreon or whatever the term is i don't know the either the lowest tier very simply is just hey thank you and i'll thank you in in anything that i do and then so yeah and we'll be i'll i'll be thanking someone later in this podcast because of that very reason lucky 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 person yeah but yes get them get the merch because you look cool right <laughs> yeah yeah and then i'll get paint all over it and i'll be sad <laughs> <laughs> it adds color it adds flavor that's, that's true though i will admit that my shoes kind of turned into like uh, a patriotic mess because i've i had white mm-hmm. shoes i mean they were like old shoes so i didn't care but they are white mm-hmm. and we painted with blue and red a lot so i got it basically just ended up being red white and blue shoes so i i without without choosing to do so of my own accord i ended up supporting uh, uh, america uh, wait uh. wait you're not a big american fan you weren't you didn't vote for trump i'm pretty confused should i leave or (laughs) i don't i think i think that would be for the best if you left for right now yeah i did sadly vote for not trump uh oh but you didn't vote for biden you basically voted for trump I, I, yeah, I, I, I did, I, I wrote in, uh, John, John John Mulaney. Yeah. I wrote in John Mulaney. (laughs) (laughs) And he won and he won. So I guess to actually try and circle back to the conversation. I'm so sorry. So sorry. No, no, I love, I love tangents. I love going off on weird things. That's, 
actually the probably the best thing about the podcast forever and always <laughs> so you came out to a few people as bi but now yeah. everyone just kind of knows that you're not straight um yeah so how 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 does it feel to be not straight <laughs> and have that <laughs> and have that be acknowledged by most people you know, I do feel like I'm better than other people for it. And I am. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, it feels good. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like I'm not hiding anything, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I feel more comfortable with myself, which is a thing I've noticed, which is nice also. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't slouch as much, you know. It's nice. Yeah. Once you come out as queer, you immediately stop slouching as much. That's one of the perks. <laughs> Like, you actually probably slouch more, but that's it. Yeah, that's, all. that's okay. Um, but no, I totally get that. Once you, like, are out to people, it's just, like, you feel so much more comfortable uh, with yourself and confident in yourself. I, I definitely found that to be true for myself. Like, I'm so excited for... Well, I mean... Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm a major league introvert, despite other things that may seem as they are. Um, yeah. so like going to college on campus is going to be slightly kind of terrifying for me and also social anxiety and all that. Um, right. but I am looking forward to it. If not for just the fact that I plan on just dressing very, very gay. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm very excited for that. And uh, yeah, I just want to look gay, feel gay, be gay. You know. Please take many photos, as many photos as you can. Oh, I and will. And publish them all. Publish them all, yeah. please. Yeah, I'll put them, I'll contact, I'll get, I'll, I'll ring up my contacts at Vogue and I'll say, hey, I got some oh. pictures for you. They'll actually reach out to you, don't worry. <laughs> they'll, they'll hear of my presence and they'll say, okay, we need this guy on. So just like for like future reference, since you're going to be a big time star, what's your net worth, you know? Anyone yeah. you've been crushing on recently? Uh -huh. Just like for the future TMZs of the world. Yeah, for the future TMZs, my net worth is probably like maybe a thousand dollars, if I'm lucky, two thousand. <laughs> um, and... You're lying. <laughs> it's You're a right. Million. I'm a, I'm it's... a millionaire. You're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> and people I'm crushing on currently. Um, mm. Well, as I as I brought up before, squishy quack a little bit. Um, right. Obviously, right. they are in a relationship, a married relationship, but that 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 hasn't right. stopped anyone before. Um, could become open. Who's to say? Yeah, that's true. Could could become an open relationship, and then I can be with my my one like number one squishy quack and number two uh, a Minecraft YouTuber that I watched consistently when I was younger. So. For sure. It'd be a little weird, I think, but it, they'd, they'd get over it. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. They, they, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. I wouldn't get over it ever. Do I have, I'm trying to think, like, genuinely, if there are other people that I have, I don't, like, the thing is, I don't think I have, like, crushes on anyone, because I feel like most of the time I, I just want, like, I, like in order to have a crush on someone I, I most in, like want to like get to know them more so right. like maybe crush isn't the the right word maybe just like severe attraction to <laughs> um, yeah yeah but there is there are certainly certainly those people out there in the world probably shout out to them shout out shout out to you i think you're hot just like into the void anyone who's listening <laughs> you're yeah. so insanely attractive <laughs> honestly though anyone that's listening to this right now oh yeah god you are the hottest person i've ever seen jeez us. i agree i second that Ooh, mama mia <laughs> 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 yeah that's that's good but yeah no i i i hope on after being at college for a while, I think I'm going to get my ears pierced. Ooh, wait, I thought you did already, no? No, I just have fake earrings that I okay. put on. But I, I, the thing is, I've, like, I've, I have, like, maybe six or seven pairs of, like, earrings that, like, mm. are not clip-on or anything like that. So, like, I can wear them if I figure 
if I use my brain and I have. Wait. What? <laughs> you can wear earrings. You don't have a piercing, though. Wait. Yeah, so I, I can figure out... I've figured out ways to, like, attach them to the clip-on earrings so that I can... Oh, okay. Yeah. I, th I thought you were, like, trying to, like, stab your ear or something. No, I was... was, for sure. With a knife. A yeah. large knife. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut your ear off. <laughs> yeah. I'll Van Gogh this. Or did he... <laughs> I think he cut his ear off. So, t tell me, Devin, how has... Oh, that was a weird way that I said that. How has your... Other than the, the, the slouch, how has your confidence, mm -hmm. uh, like, newfound confidence, uh, affected you? I just feel more comfortable in public. Because mm -hmm. I feel like... I feel like before, definitely, like, just trying to appeal to the male gaze as it were <laughs> it's like a big problem uh -huh. i feel like it's a problem for a lot of like young females yeah and i don't know i feel like that's become a lot less of a problem it has become a lot less of a problem which mm -hmm. is really nice yeah. so i've just been i've been exploring my style a bit more i've been nice. i've been crying in public a bit more. <laughs> it's <laughs> because you know school is gross it but, is yeah i got a five on my i got a five on my ap lang exam really which that's yeah that's really cool i'm pretty proud of that that is something to be proud of for sure ap exams are very fun no yeah they're they're the real treat yeah i don't i don't miss ha i mean i do miss having to do those yeah so yeah no that's I think that's great. I didn't even, like, I mean, obviously, wait, no, no f fuck you, Ryan, not obviously, that's the wrong word to use. Um, no, I, I, because I am a, a uh, well, I mean, I basically am a man. Uh, okay. Like, I don't, I guess I, I've, the thing is, like, when you are, like, a man, you don't think about the male gaze. Or at least you, yeah. you don't usually do that or think about yeah. it. I think, like, I definitely I, I definitely did a lot more, like, once I was like, oh, th things are problematic in this world. <laughs> and that was, like, <laughs> yeah. it happens sometime in high school or whatever. I don't know. But, like, I, 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 I never even thought about how, like, trying to appeal to the male gaze would be, like, affect your life and i guess i kind yeah. of maybe do in some ways because i want i want guys to think oh that's uh, that guy over there i want to i want to <laughs> lick his forehead <laughs> oh interesting <laughs> interesting thought yeah not not what i want that's not a thought that i would have but that's a thought that i think that they uh, should have right and they do, they do. <laughs> <laughs> every yeah every single one of them but yeah, I can totally see how like uh, just coming to terms with being queer would definitely help alleviate that. So that's that's really nice. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy for you for having that that happen to you. Okay, lol. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I guess or whatever. Uh, yeah, no confidence is great, and we should all yeah. have more of it. Unless you're a homophobe, don't be confident in your. Or transphobe. Don't be confident in, like, your bigotry. But other yeah. than that... Don't be... Yeah, what you said. What... Yeah. Listen, everyone, <laughs> everyone, every... Everyone, gather, gather your... Everyone. Okay? Ooh, settle down. Hey, quiet, quiet, quiet. Settle down. Everyone. Listen to what Devin just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a cat in the audience. Yes! We pick up the cat slowly. We realize it's actually a dog who meows frequently. We we kill the dog. We place it outside. We continue. Yes. Beautiful. I'm so that, sorry. That was... <laughs> no, that was great. I love that. That was wonderful. Um, <laughs> um, so, have you ever questioned your gender identity at all? Um, recently, I have been a lot. Mm-hmm. In the past, I didn't really think about it, but recently Same. I definitely have been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think I'm pretty secure mm -hmm. in my the 
gender I express myself as mm -hmm. and refer to myself as. Mm -hmm. But I also think gender is a construct, which is also something I struggle with. Well, it is a construct, but like I like definitely struggle. I don't to know. It. Yeah, no, I get that. I think um, the 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 way that I had always been is like I felt secure, like just being a cis man for a very long time and i think that also i imagine part of what helped that is just the fact that you know men just have more societal power and so, yeah and so like me being a man was like definitely no bad thing because it couldn't really do a lot of harm to me other than you know toxic masculinity but um <laughs> lol <laughs> yeah La laughing out loud literally <laughs> um and also like i i kind of touched on this in my q a video that i did um but like i think basically i know because i had always i knew you don't have to feel uh dysphoria to like to 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 realize that your gender is something else than what yeah. you're prescribed at birth but i think that the, i had always thought like specifically about myself that i should feel uh dysphoria like if i was not just a man um yeah but but then i like as i started to think about it more um and like especially after i did the the perfect body episode of the podcast i think i started to realize like well maybe i do kind of feel that but yeah. like my body dysmorphia kind of hid that because like i just kind of realized that like maybe i've i just have never really gave it that perspective because like i've always just hated my body and so and that i've always just thought of that as like a, a like a me hitting my body thing but I think I started to realize like, yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely wish that I looked more like androgynous and, uh, kind of fit like the, the, the non-binary more. And so I think that after like, I came to terms with that, I was like, yeah, I'll just try it out. I'll just try out he, they, because I definitely, yeah. I definitely feel like, I, I don't think I'll maybe i would one day but like at this current time i don't think i'd abandon like the the male label at all mm -hmm. um yeah. just because i feel comfortable in that um but for yeah. sure i also definitely feel comfortable and like the 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 non-binary label as well so you use your he they so do you prefer one set of pronouns over the other or do you want like like when people use them interchangeably just out of curiosity um i i mean the thing is people don't often refer to me <laughs> just in general <laughs> so like so like i haven't really gotten to experiment with it but i think like in my own head the way that i refer to myself more is more just like interchangeably um mm -hmm. so like sometimes i'll be like oh yeah ryan that male son of a bastard um <laughs> and then like other times we're like oh ryan the sexy non-binary person <laughs> uh so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's yeah that's about i think i think interchangeably i guess very beautiful very happy for you thank very you very proud of you thank you it took a while to figure out but that's okay because it took yeah. me even longer to figure out that i was pansexual <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, technically it didn't because it, it took me, what, 19 years to figure out? Yeah, but you could die. You could die tomorrow. So, like, in the grand scheme. Hey, you're right. You're right. And you might die from that poisoned water. That's the goal. That reminds me. So, Let me take another sip of that. <laughs> Let me just chug this real quick. Uh, yeah, that's... I can definitely... You know what? Now that it's been pointed out to me, I definitely taste the poison, yeah. Well, I tried to make it, like green apple flavored yeah so. I'm, I'm definitely getting a hint of that uh you could have got uh, for future advice you could have gone a little heavier on the the green apple um like i'm sorry getting, I'm, I'm getting a hint of it but definitely you could put more in next time for sure sorry about that 
No, it's really fine. do apologize. No, it's great. It's, I love it. Well, it almost feels like you don't. Like, I don't know. Just me. <laughs> no, I, I do. I do love it. I'm no, just... no, no. It's like, it's it's, it's whatever. It is. It, yeah. It's truly whatever. Uh-huh. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. All right. Um. Anyway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just to end the podcast, just stop right there. <laughs> be, I think you should do that. That'd be beautiful. <laughs> I I definitely recommend to people, and uh, I guess you as well, even though you've already done it some, is even if you are comfortable, like, with uh, your gender identity, just question it. Just do it for the the hell of it. Because I think a lot of times, even if you feel comfortable with it, um, you might just kind of ignore things or not realize things. And so if you just start to like question it more, maybe you'll start to realize things be like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Beautiful. (laughs) Sorry about that. Sorry about that. (laughs) LOL. Sorry about that. Sorry. And from now on, I just want you to apologize for every single thing that you say. I start breathing. <laughs> Sorry <Yeah>. about that. <laughs> Devin, we talked about this confidence, all right? Sorry. <laughs> no, you can't say that. Oh, lol. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I guess um, now, how, I, uh, did... Um, Bless you. Thank you. Did, did being queer... Uh, ever like make just being in school or participating in like clubs like drama or whatever uh create weird moments for you or just weird situations um anything like that i don't know if it did i think if anything being in theater Mm -hmm. helped me realize i Mm -hmm. was queer as it were Mm -hmm. but i don't think i interact with people enough for like it to be like an odd experience and if i do they're probably queer as well so it's not like they're not they're not gonna hate cry me probably (laughs) you never know (laughs) it's possible i mean i can only hope i definitely uh i get that i i I share the 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 feeling of interact of rarely interacting with people that may that (laughs) I, i i get i get what that is i've been there I definitely, like, contemplated coming out to more people in high school, Mm -hmm. Um, but I probably, I probably wouldn't have, but, like, I contemplated it, but, like, at the time, I think I probably was only out to, like, one or two people, and, like, I feel like just thinking about it now just makes me think about how stressed I would have been, Uh, like, if I had come out to more people and, like, just walking around the hallways, like, oh, God. You always look so stressed. Like, you always look like you definitely didn't want to be there or, like, you wanted to, like, turn into a real, like, King Kong master and just, like, start beating everyone. I don't know. It was fun. I liked it. It was cool. Sorry about that. I know. Oh, I love that description of me. That's partially true, I think. <laughs> um, yeah. The, the, the thing about me is I always... Number one, I'm just kind of intimidating because I'm large and like I, I don't really have I don't have like a face that's like <laughs> kind at all times. I don't I don't like tend to smile consistently. Uh, <laughs> even even if I'm happy, I don't like I'll, I'll, I'll just be like I'll just kind of have like this like dark look on my face like I want to murder someone even though I'm perfectly fine and happy. I think it's good. <laughs> thank you I, th- I think so too because uh, it really it really gets the heteros to stay away from me that's so true actually so maybe try adopting that for yourself it, sometimes it works you know i yeah i i think i could become like a maybe i'll i should just morph into mega mind i think probably. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, right it wouldn't take that much effort no no i don't think so i always like i i was very aware of like how I thought other people were perceiving me in high school, mm-hmm. even though the thing is, I didn't really care that much. I could tell. I could tell. Yeah. LOL. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it, it was pretty, pretty obvious, though. Like, I just, I, 
I guess I never really worried about that, which is weird because I have like social anxiety, but like I never really yeah. cared about like how other people perceive me because I was like, at the end of the day, their opinion of me doesn't really matter. Uh, and so like, I just kind of, I, 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 I feel like to most people, I was kind of like this enigma where I was just like this weird, sometimes silent, ominous mass <laughs> and other times just this really loud rambunctious like person but also <laughs> if you needed anything from him i was nice <laughs> That's, no that is a very like apt description yeah like i don't know it was, it was just kind of weird i guess lol mega lol <laughs> anyways <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, do you, uh, are you still in, uh, in drama? I am. It wasn't much of a thing. Where I, well, I guess we had a couple shows last mm -hmm. year, but yeah, I am planning to do acting in this year because it's yes. my senior year. Yeah. So go for it. Yeah. That I should mean, be great. If you want to. <laughs> well, don't like, don't tell me what to do, but like, it's fine. <laughs> no, that, I think that's great. You want you want to know something cool about me as well. Also, Roxy's barking. Roxy, I, I think she's done. So, uh, what I was saying that's really super cool about me is um, the fact that I will also be acting for the first time. OMG! Wait, this really? Year, this year, yeah, I'm taking an acting class in college. <gasps> that's so cool. Yeah, because I had always wanted to like do acting stuff. But I never mm -hmm. did because I hated myself and my body too much to be on stage. But now that I'm more confident yeah. in myself, I said, hey, let's go for it. Yes. You're going to you're literally going to be the next Paul Giamatti. I can't <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> That's so me. Thrilled. Paul Giamatti <laughs> Jr. I'm so sorry. That's not accurate. You're going to be like the next. I don't know who's a good actor. I don't know. No one, probably. Nobody's really a good actor. Yeah, no. I, I'll just be, I'll be the only good actor. Yeah, that's such a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, I think I, I definitely look forward. Uh, I probably won't see it, but I look forward to seeing it in my mind, <laughs> you acting. I think that'll be fun. It'll be something, for sure. <laughs> It'll be stressful, for sure. No. <laughs> but... No. <laughs> Are you also taking like AP classes and stuff? I'm only taking two next year. Okay. So yes, but I've, they're good ones. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited for my schedule next year though. I'm taking That's a good. lot of cool electives. That's yeah. good. That's good for your senior year, especially have fun. Don't tell me what to do, but thank you. Yeah, of course. I think what how many I t I think I took four AP classes my senior year. My god. Yeah. I think I I think I took did I I I think I took four junior and senior year. That is insane. Each. Yeah. That is insane. I'm I, kind of crazy. No. I'm kind of insane. That but, actually explains a lot. Yeah, it does. But yeah, taking four AP classes, I guess I wouldn't adv I would and I wouldn't advise a, uh for it um, depending for me it ended up working out really well because i got a lot of credits that transferred over to college so That's that true. was nice i ended up not having i don't have to take a single math class in college so <gasps> that's so beautiful i don't have, i don't have to take i i have to take like one english class i have to take like one science class it's kind of beautiful i kind mm -hmm. of love it that is really beautiful. But like for me, I'm going to film school, so I wouldn't have mm. to take that many classes anyways. So it's like kind yeah. of pointless. I did not know you were going to film school. That's really cool. That, and it's pretty lame, pretty gross. Kind of a funny prank, if you will. I guess now is a good time to bring it up. When we talked before, you said that you like watching <laughs> movies. And now that I know that you're going to film film school i don't know I, <laughs> I struggled with finding the word school um yeah. i want to know why 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 what wait why why do you want to go to film school and why um, like are were there any like major like movies or anything that got you like specifically interested in doing that i want to know good question 
Mm-hmm. So on that note, I'm going to go. No, I'm okay. joking. Um, but any, no, I just kind of was thinking about, well, I was having like a pre-life crisis, yeah, if you will. Yeah. I was like, the see. only thing I, yeah, yeah. But the, the only thing I really like want to do, like the only thing I'm truly interested in mm-hmm. is like making movies. And yeah. I feel like all I've ever really enjoyed doing is watching movies, which is like the <laughs> stupidest thing. It's not though. And I took. I took a film and literature class on VHS last year, mm-hmm. and it was just like the most, like the most I've ever put in work to, like mm-hmm. into anything. The most yeah. I've ever cared about anything. Mm-hmm. So, it just it feels like that's the only thing I could really be happy doing, mm-hmm. which is funny. Any particular movies? I'm gonna have to go with the B movie for sure. <laughs> of course. One thousand percent. Yeah. Because you know, even though it's a cartoon, it's a cartoon movie, but like the camera work is just flawless. Yeah, it, it, I, it really cannot is. match it. Yeah. Question: Have you seen the Fear Street trilogy? If not, watch it now. Is that the Netflix movies? Yeah. I have not, yeah. but I have it on my wish on my watch list to plan to watch. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. Are they? That's they're really cool. good. Well, they're not, like, the best, but they're, like, as far as LGBTQ movies go. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that they were look at a bit. And it's, like, I think it's done really well. Mm. Also, who doesn't love a good slasher? Honestly, I love slashers. I love horror movies in general. Most of them are so bad, though, but that's another (laughs) time. Yeah, some of them are good, but most of them are bad. But they're bad in a good way, so well, some it them. is what it is. Yeah. Well, don't tell me what's right and what's not, okay? <laughs> because <laughs> at the hey, end of the day, I'm right. At the end of the day, you're the one going to film school and I'm not, so I get it. <laughs> I get it. No, I think that's really cool. Um, and also, listen here, Devin. Listen right no, now. I've actually just stopped listening. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to say it anyway in case... The listeners can get something out of it as well. Um, you a- you acted as if uh, watching movies and enjoying like the the thought of making movies and stuff like that, like being the only thing that you you see yourself like making yourself happy is a is a stupid bad horrible thing, and it's not okay. <clears throat> Don't even think that way for a second. Like, is it is it good to have backups? Yeah, but who fucking cares? It's your life. Live your life. I don't have any backups, okay? Um, I th- I have also been similar in that, in a sense, to my life in that thing that I said. Um, because, like, there are so many things that, like, I just could not find passion for. And I could not, like, really get any real joy out of. And, the, like, the first, like, some of the, the only things that I started to really, like, feel passion for that I, like, I wanted to do or potentially do later on in life is number one, like, uh, number one, it was, like, YouTube and, like, making videos and content and making podcasts and stuff like this, um, which mm-hmm. I know has a very low chance of ever, like, becoming a real thing. Um, which is fine, but it, it's still very enjoyable for me to do. Um, but no, that's like, so like, that's like my very, very almost impossible, like thing. Um, mm-hmm. but like, other than that, I didn't really have like anything that I enjoyed doing like real realistically. Um, and it wasn't until like, I started making like stupid videos with my friend for school projects and doing video club at at school that I was like oh this is something that I actually kind of enjoy um and so I think doing that and then realizing hey the only thing that I think I'll ever enjoy like doing long term is just making content and making stuff whether it's like a news broadcast or whatever it is so don't don't think for that sure. Don't think that just because you there's like one main thing and really only one thing that uh, you see yourself doing is a bad thing because it's not. If you find that thing, just fucking pursue it. Yeah, that was really beautiful and inspirational. I think. Thank you. But also, I, I do that sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I'm probably gonna go like drink water straight from the stream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, at least that water is not poisoned. Well. I mean, Hopefully it's, it it's, is. it's probably polluted. Mm. Is polluted and poison the same thing? I don't think you should. You definitely shouldn't drink polluted water. That's all I'm going to say. No. 
you shouldn't. But like, I feel like po- is I feel like, hmm. poison is more of a substance. Like poison yeah, is more specific. Yeah, yeah. Polluted is just like the the chemicals in the water turn the frogs gay. That's that's more polluted. <laughs> yeah. So do you have uh, any other like, or do you know of any other good movies? Move good movies with good queer representation there i got it out um no okay i will say this till the day i die dead poet society is a queer movie i don't know what that movie is but it sounds good it is a queer movie if you ever watch it Mm -hmm. just just know from the beginning it's a queer movie Mm -hmm. it's not technically but it definitely is (laughs) yeah no i get that so many queer movies are done so terribly and it's like so concerning like it's not that hard to make a movie there's there's a main couple in nearly every movie Mm -hmm. that doesn't have to be a cisgender man and a cisgender woman that's all i'm gonna say and it also the the main plot doesn't have to surround the fact that the character is gay that that also doesn't have to be their main personality trait i think like 90 percent of the the any like queer movie and like specifically it was made to be queer right any specifically Mm -hmm. like queer movie and or like tv show or whatever that has ever been made deals with the character try like being closeted struggling with that and then trying to come out right and it's always the same experience like it's like always it's like so textbook Mm -hmm. i feel like like if uh it's so disgusting it really is. I hate it a lot. And they're all like so, for lack of a better word, cringy. Mm-hmm. Like I hate the word cringy, but they're all just so terribly done. Yeah. No, for sure. Like I, I I'll enjoy a cheesy romance, especially sure. especially a gay one. But like, <laughs> it just can you make them feel like actual human beings? And make it so, like, they don't just feel like these 2D characters that are just, like, dealing with only their gayness. Wait, that's not what queer people are? I don't... I'm not yeah, sure I'm well, following. most mostly they are, but I, I They're guess... They're humans? I, I, didn't, I, I didn't know they were humans. I wouldn't go that far. But, I mean, I some know. sometimes they have, like, other personality traits, I guess. I don't know. I've been told that anyway. I don't know if that's essentially accurate, but no. sure. I'm... A, I'm open-minded i'll i'll take it into consideration <laughs> <laughs> i swear that is how some people actually think and it's, i know it's so it's, it's really funny though they should take up a career in comedy but like they just think it's a ted talk <laughs> like, <laughs> hot <laughs> it, it is a, it's a stand-up show yeah i guess since i haven't brought it up yet ever on the podcast mm-hmm. i feel like i i should even though it's been like quite a while how, did you watch bo burnham's inside of course okay cool yes oh my god i could talk about that for the rest of my life and like there'd never be a moment of silence it was so good however if i i think that if a female comedian did that i don't think it would have received the same praise that it did oh no it definitely would not which is interesting yeah well again that's just the fucking patriarchy at work from the patriarchy (laughs) and for some reason like I don't get why there's a stereotype that women aren't funny. Like, why... Oh, it's so true. No, women aren't funny. I don't... I think it's Amy Schumer's fault. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't know. Like, there are so many, like, funny women. If if there was a woman that did exactly what Bo Burnham did, she would not have gotten the same praise. 100%. No, she wouldn't have. And I... I don't know why, but I think people are just more receptive to white straight men. Not even just like just like white men. In general. Yeah, I'd also I would love to see more movies actually give like the female lead like an actual good role. A lot of times it's mm. just the stereotypical female lead when yeah. like, there's so much more that could be done. I think it's getting better, though. I do think it's getting better. It is getting but, better, but it needs to be better still. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should just cut women out of movies entirely. Mm-hmm. I think we should have men, just like specifically straight, cis, white mm-hmm. men. 
Just just have them do the whole thing. We we could just do the Shakespeare thing and have them play all the characters. Yeah, I think that's probably the best idea. Because, you know, women just cause problems on a yes, set. Yes, 100%. So that's a good rap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so, Devin. Yes. Um, I don't... I don't mean to bring this up as like an intervention, but um, oh. you've been a little, a little obsessed with The Sims lately. <laughs> um, I think we need to talk about that. No, <laughs> it is, it is the stupidest game to ever exist. <laughs> it is. However, if I but like think about it. If I want to listen to like a record or like a podcast episode, if you will, uh-huh. and I don't, I don't, I don't want to go on a walk alone because I'm scared of predators. Yes. So like, I need something to do. I'm not good at puzzles, so I sit down, I play The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, yet it's not. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a very good description of The Sims. It's really bad, but also. It's not. Also, EA is just a fucking money whore that just oh, yeah. wants all of your money for all of the game and packs and, and they can whatever have it. else. <laughs> they can have it. Listen, I want cats and dogs in my game, okay? <laughs> I will pay $60 for that. It's probably only 40 but that's still but a lot. But it's worth it. <laughs> no. 60 is pretty accurate, actually. Yeah. But, like, you know how there's, like, songs in The Sims? Yeah. Did you know the artists actually have to record that? I thought they just, like, mixed it or something. <laughs> 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 no. Like, I like to imagine them, like, sitting there recording that. Like, whoop ba da doo Yeah. It's really no, good. Yeah. Pretty much the only praise... I mean, this is kind of harsh, but also I don't really feel that bad. The only praise that I give The Sims is, like, their their the fact that, like, it's very easy to have queer like representation in the game and they've always had good queer representation in the game it's almost too easy because like i'll be i'll zone out or something and have just like the game playing Mm -hmm. and my sim will walk up to another let's just say i'm playing as a female Mm -hmm. to walk up to another female Mm -hmm. and just like start nearly sexually harassing her (laughs) without me without me doing like it's almost too easy Mm -hmm. but i i do appreciate it and like even with the gender thing, like you can like have a female character who can like pee standing, which is a really thing to click on. Yeah. But like they can pee standing and like yeah. have a they can impregnate another sim, which I think is nice. Yeah, I think the Sims Five or whatever else they do next should definitely the two things that I would want to see in it is like give like a, a non-binary gender at least. Yes um so yes. that there's just not just male and female like y- yes. y- you could make like an alien or whatever but even then there's still male and female right um excuse me i'm dying Ooh. and um, finally the poison is working <laughs> <laughs> and and also make it so you can have like polyamorous relationships can you not like yes you could you could technically like be in a relationship with two separate sims but i think if they you do that they'll fight cheating. yeah they consider it cheating but like just let me have a polyamorous relationship for sure yeah that is a weird thing at least the sims is doing what most other video games is not which is yeah having some representation i mean it's not perfect no but i think yeah definitely compared to other games mm-hmm. which i don't play i don't play other games let's <laughs> be honest i'm a fake gamer i only play the sims <laughs> so it's really good that's okay because most other games don't really have much going for them what about minecraft well you could make your character anything you want if, if you really you like you you could um you um should i tell this sure i i made my character when i was playing like on a server with friends i decided to make my own skin so my own character and mm. I, uh, I decided I'll just make mine like a, a blue furry. All right. Just cause. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> interesting choice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like it. Very cool. Yeah. I haven't played Minecraft since I was 10. So it's been a few years. I'm 12 now, so. 
I, I, wish, I wish that were true. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Yeah, no, I don't really see video games with a lot of representation. Yeah, I don't see many video games that don't sexualize women. That's also true. Indie games have a lot of yeah. representation just because a lot of indie developers are, you know, not white straight <laughs> man. Yeah. But um, when AAA games do have ad representation, then a bun- there's like the internet goes crazy like, don't fucking put politics into my game. It's like, that's not politics, but okay. <laughs> I liked your impression though. It was really good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That's my impression of idiot who doesn't know about the world but we can have you know like call of duty where there's you know literal yeah. warfare and politics in the game so that's fine but it's a game it's all fun and games yeah, don't ruin it's my fun just a ga- it's just a game guys come on come on i'm not gonna get like violent thoughts or anything lol as a as a six-year-old <laughs> come on <laughs> yes Devin, as a six-year-old you you are like you are four years old right well, I'm four and a half. Like, you don't have to rub it in my face. But, yeah. <laughs> like, it's okay. Yeah. Well, you know, that's a... Yeah, no, I... Listen, there's nothing wrong with with being four and a half. Do you have any other interests or topics that you would like to talk about or bring up? Halloween is coming around the corner. Oh, my God, yes. So, my question, I guess, would be... Mm-hmm. Is Halloween innately... <laughs> A queer holiday. No. And I I'm, I hate to say that. I really do, Devin. You know I do. You know I hate to say that. And I can give you a reason why. I can give you a, a very good reason why. Is it is it like the perfect holiday for queer people? Yes. But, however... Was it created for them? I don't know. I think it's at least grown into... It has, Yes. And here, you, here's my reasoning for why it's not a uh, a queer holiday, or at least it wasn't created to be one. Is uh, I think, I think just you know, th- men wanted a way for uh, to for to see women dressed scantily. Ooh, but what about like at its Halloween's a pretty old holiday. Yeah. So like I don't know, that can't be true. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's maybe it's just a holiday for pedophiles. That <laughs> that is true beauty. Yeah. They deserve something. Don't they deserve something? <laughs> you know? Like they just nobody gets off their back. Like I'm sick of it. Come on. Have you ever heard the term map? Like a map? No, not like not like a map. Okay. No. It's 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 what pedophiles use to uh to I guess to justify their attraction to children which is not justifiable by the way i just want to say that Ooh. very clearly um it's the the term map is a, an acronym for minor attracted person Ooh, that just no yeah mm. yeah so they tried to make it like a sexuality of some sort and I, and I think everyone universally was like no no we don't accept you no sorry no i just i don't understand that what yeah i don't it's it's very gross (laughs) why would they think that was like something they could excuse i don't know because they're 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 not okay (laughs) i don't know i don't know (laughs) maybe just don't sexualize children yeah that's probably just an idea i think that's good advice i really do i think that's (laughs) probably the best advice actually um for sure and i think most people can agree with that advice <laughs> hopefully yeah. oh my God. hopefully the pedophile takeover is coming upon us no i don't want that world i don't want that no thanks let's just keep map in the language of dora the explorer and we'll be good oh i loved that show more <laughs> than i love i don't know you want to know what i loved more than dora what diego Ooh. Again, okay. That's probably because I'm queer and gay. Well, definitely, for sure. I was like, Dora, she's all right, but Diego. Diego, on the other hand. Oh. Did he have it? Didn't he have his own weird spinoff? He did. I don't remember what it was called. He had he had like a a leopard cat thing or whatever. I think. Okay. All right. <laughs> Which is also pretty pretty epic. Mm. I was gonna say sexy, but. 
I'll, not not now. That's not sexy. At me at as the a time. Nine, at the time when the I time. was like when I was like five or whatever. Not yes. now as a nineteen year old <laughs> old human. I, I do not. I do not still <laughs> find Diego attracted attractive. I am not a map. I am not a pedophile. Not a map. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> this was a childhood me thing. Okay. Anyway, you got anything else you want to talk about? um no okay all right well i guess if if that's the case then i uh devin with in you have five seconds okay five seconds uh to uh to 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 uh either if you have any questions at all for me personally spiritually just in general to ask me okay. Or if okay. there's anything that you want to say to the audience, to the listeners right now, you have five seconds. Okay, I've always really wanted to eat a breast implant because they look so yummy and squishy and fun. Is that five seconds? I think so. I think you're good. But you also, now now that you've done that, you have as much time as you want. So it's, what, say whatever it is that you have to say, please. I feel like I can't really come back from the breast implant thing. I'd like to apologize for that um ryan you are a god um i really appreciate you letting me talk to you yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> um, thank you for joining uh, me i don't know uh, i i'm uh i i'm just as honored to have you on as you are honored to be on i guess is yeah that makes sense <laughs> i think what i said yeah do you do you have anything that you want to say to the listeners or advice you want to give them Ooh, if you haven't listened to phoebe bridgers mm -hmm. i definitely do recommend it's a very spiritual experience mm -hmm. um so definitely do that and if you haven't listened to john mulaney <laughs> <laughs> you haven't listened to all of his specials um definitely do that yeah also if you are a young queer person you are instantly cool yes and better than anyone else yeah so if you don't have a god complex i'd recommend developing one yeah because it's kind of a necessity the sooner the better as well yeah so if you can get that done within like the next week it'd be nice mm -hmm. that's your homework for this week <laughs> for this yes. podcast i won't be doing my ap gov summer assignment i will be developing my <laughs> complex yes which is far more important <laughs> i think that was all very good advice very good thank yeah. you thank you for joining me <laughs> devin i almost said episode i almost called you episode that is my name <laughs> thank you for joining me episode it was a pleasure <laughs> to have you on <laughs> um, thank you for letting me join you yeah i have to say this is the time right now where i say thank you to my patron follower uh masha l thank you thank you appreciate it thank you masha l thank you yeah. masha l. uh if you want to join my patreon you can do that if you want if you want to pay money if you want to make me a millionaire you want to make me rich go ahead there's the links they're down below in the description but yeah no they are on spotify and youtube the, the link is both there and there where you can find it so thanks for that i guess thank you for giving me all of your money i appreciate that <laughs> um <laughs> uh <laughs> and uh thank you everyone for listening this has been the Kind of Queer podcast, hosted by a couple of Kind of Queer folks. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. LOL. <laughs> okay. I think it's recording. Just say anything for a test. Um, mommy, <laughs> test. Perfect. Something. Perfect. Okay. Great. Okay, we're all good. good. Okay. Very good. Here comes here comes the beautiful <laughs> intro that I know how to do very well all the time. I don't <laughs> mess up ever. It was an iPod iPad baby. Were you? Is that I real? Wish. Oh, okay. I wish I was. <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> no, I really do. <laughs> I don't know if it's you like do. My, my biggest feat <laughs> that I wasn't an iPad toddler. Yeah. I feel I feel bad. I I I really wish iPad 
kids weren't real. They're gonna take over the world one day, don't say that. Don't say that. I know that they are, and that scares me. 